So we're going to use Stat Crunch to randomly select five out of the ten students without replacement. So here are the ten students. And we're going to use the same frame and seed as in problem one. But now we're going to use Stat Crunch to generate eight random numbers between one and ten, which you're going to see here in figure six. Okay, so I'm going to open up Stat Crunch. And if you know here, here it says we want to make sure we can find the simulation of a discrete uniform. We have the number of rows and columns. Since we're picking out eight, we're going to have eight rows and we're going to use one column. And then the discrete uniform parameters is that we start with one student going all the way to 10. And then we're going to split across columns. And then we're also going to use the fixed seed since we used in the previous example 1,120. So if I'm using Stack Crunch, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to select data. And then I'm going to scroll down all the way to where it says simulate. And then I'm going to select discrete uniform. So again, we have a number of eight rows. We have one column. We have one to 10 students because that is the parameters. We're going to split across columns. And then the seeding, we want to be able to use our fixed seed. And that number is 1120. And then I'm going to select compute. Now when I select compute, I'm going to get the following numbers. 79729128. Now going back to that screen, we end up getting 7972912 and 8. Now remember here that we want to select 5 out of the students. So we don't want to pick anything repeating. So we pick up 7, 9, we're not going to select this 7 because it's repeating. We're going to pick 2, we're not going to pick that 9 because that's repeating and then the 1. And then we're not going to pick that 2 because that's repeating and then we're going to pick number 8. So the first five different numbers are 7, 9, 2, 1, and 8, which correspond to Simone, Alex, Tammy, Gabe, and Manette.